Hey everybody, it's Peter here with GoodyReader.com. Today we have the Microsoft Surface Pro 64 gigabyte version displaying StarCraft 2 on it. Yes, we do realize this isn't an e-reader review or even a tablet review, but we've get, been getting quite a bit of responses and um, requests lately for the Microsoft Surface Pro regarding what it can and can't play. So we've already showed you World of Warcraft in a previous video, and today we're just going to show you StarCraft because uh, this is StarCraft 2, by the way, and we've given, been getting quite a bit of requests for this. So here it is. Showing you guys the tablet is fully capable of displaying and playing this game properly. We'll just skip over the uh, skip over the little story elements because we're not um, we're not showing you StarCraft particularly to say oh this is what the game is all about. We're just showing you it can handle it um, flawlessly, mind you. Now, one of the downsides in the Microsoft Surface Pro is that, at least for the 64 gigabyte version, it is billed as a 64 gigabyte version when you go to buy it. Now, out of that, you get about 50 that is actually physically on the hard drive. Out of that, you get about 24 usable. So it's not exactly the largest hard drive. And what that means is that after you have StarCraft 2 or even World of Warcraft on there, there really isn't room for anything else. Because what we found is that after we, did, um, after we installed uh, StarCraft, 12 gigabyte install or so, we had to update with another 10 gigabyte uh, update that it prompted us to do, and there was no room left. So that's a massive, massive downside for this tablet slash computer is that there's just no room for anything. We had World of Warcraft on there and we had to actually uninstall that in order for us to show you this, um, show you guys StarCraft because there just wasn't enough room for everything on there. Uh, we even had things like um, uh, Microsoft Office, Adobe Premiere Pro and once again there's just not enough room so it's very unfortunate but um, that's just the way it goes with this. But as you can see here we've just taken you through about one or two minutes of uh, StarCraft 2 and just to show you it is playing it flawlessly. We see a little bit of lagging here and there but um, nothing too major. And what we can see here if we go to options we have graphics at full screen 1920 by 1080 Texture quality low. Let's turn this to ultra just to see how this plays. And we'll go accept. Seeing that it's taking a little bit to actually process that. And return to game. Now we start to get into a little bit of lags and unresponsiveness from the mouse. Not the greatest actually. Yeah, it's becoming a little bit less playable and we're losing a little bit of the audio too at the same time. It looks like it can't handle that much and at the same time the fans, although you guys can't hear it, are going haywire. They are running pretty hard. So advantages to this tablet is that you can play games like this. Disadvantages obviously are that there's just not enough room to do what you really want to do. I mean if you are getting this, the 64 gigabyte version is about $1200 in Canada all said and done with the keyboard. Uh, right now we're utilizing a wireless keyboard along with a wireless mouse to not interact with the screen or anything like that. So what we're going to do is just click play again, restart mission, because now we're going to interact with our finger and see what's going to happen there. We've showed you Logitech mouse and an external Logitech keyboard. So we're just going to try it with our finger now. Press any key to continue. We'll press escape to dodge over the story here. So, oh wow, <laughs> very difficult. So you can box the guys by single kind of just interacting. Um, oh wow, oh escaping from me. <laughs> it looks like um, it's pretty difficult. You can't just tap to tell them where to go because it requires you to do a right click to tell them where to go. So you have to actually press and hold for a second. And I'm not actually sure how you navigate the screen to move forward see it kind of escapes from you because you can't pull the screen you know so I guess if we navigate with the mini map ever so slightly we can tell them where to go 
very unfriendly. I would not recommend interacting with this with the uh, with touching the screen. Very difficult, not enjoyable whatsoever. Virtually unplayable. Well, with any sort of strategy, of course, and um, competency, because sure you can do the actions, but I mean, when it comes time to actually managing your troops and managing your base, you don't want to be doing any of that. Let's just kill these guys so I can feel better. There we go. Oh, 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 yeah. So this is StarCraft 2 on the Microsoft Surface Pro. Just showing you guys about five minutes of gameplay. Um, once again, not showing you how good we are at this game or how far we've advanced or anything like that. Just showing you that the game can work on this tablet. We've been getting a lot of requests for this. Keep the requests coming in. We'd be glad to fulfill them and show you guys um, all the games that can or cannot be played on this tablet. You can check out our other videos where we have... Um, Far Cry 3, World of Warcraft, a bunch of other games, and just note, if you're just joining us now, this 64 gigabyte version in Canada is about $1,200 with the keyboard, and only has about 24-ish gigabytes to actually use. StarCraft 2 pretty much maxes it out. So, if you guys have any more requests, leave a comment below, send us an email, go to goodyreader.com, check out all we have to offer, apps.goodyreader.com for our app market. You can go to goodyreader.com slash blog, or check out the other 500 plus videos we have on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash goodyreader. For Goodyreader, this is Peter. Everyone, take care.